We just made three home decor projects using three different resin techniques and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a build and make it? They're great, that's what we do here. And this week, we are messing with resin again. We decided we're gonna make a cutting board and a tray. So when I suggested we make the cutting board, I had big ideas. I had roses and flowers and Garrett was out. He wasn't into that. Garrett was out. <laughs> so I told him he could make the tray and he could do whatever he wanted with his tray. Mine's gonna be feminine. Mine's gonna be bicycle. <laughs> yeah. I found this piece of paper. It's like an old newspaper article with bicycle pieces on it. So I went out to the garage and I grabbed me some bicycle parts, some chain pieces and a sprocket. I'm gonna mod podge them on there. Well, you're gonna mod podge over your paper, right? We're gonna pour the resin and then you're going to float your Sockets or just gonna no, put, them, gonna on put the them on the bottom? Just put them on the bottom. The resin. All right. Okay. okay, so step one of mine, I'm going to tape off where I think the flowers are gonna go and where the resin, where the straight line for the resin is going to be. And that's what I'm gonna start doing. And for me, I'm going to Mod Podge down this piece of paper. Now, we learned a lot from our project, our first resin project, our seaside ocean boards. So hopefully we can take some of those lessons learned and some of your comments and make this one even better. So the first thing I'm gonna to do to my board is I'm gonna add a coat of, um, I guess it would be primer, but I'm gonna use acrylic paint for mine. And I tried to go thick to cover up the cracks so the resin doesn't seep through. So now you'll want to cover this paper in Mod Podge to keep the resin from seeping through and making the paper soggy, tearing it up. So it's going to seal the paper. All right, so we have to wait for the Mod Podge to dry clear. Yeah, dry clear. Like 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to give mine a little more time to dry. It's drying quickly. Now you can do the clock thing. All right, we'll do back. the clock thing. Ready? <laughs> All right, we're back. It's almost dry. This is what I have so far. He's too impatient. Too impatient, too impatient. My handle is dry. So... Step right. two. Step two. Uh, mix the resin. We're using the total boat again because we did some research and it is a food grade safe once it's completely dry. Now I did learn about domable resin, but I don't have any of that. So I'm just going to have to use what we have. This total boat is a one-to-one -one mixture. It's easy, it's so easy. There you go, yeah, move those off to the side. Last video, Garrett put his sand right in front of my project. You couldn't even see it half the time. Sabotage. <laughs> yeah, sabotage. All right, now it's a three minute slow stir. All 
All right, I'm gonna put all my bike parts in the tray. Should you pour a small amount in first so that you set them down? Uh, yeah, Otherwise, so. will they swim? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna pour a tiny amount in the bottom. I'm gonna add my print and cut on my clear sticker paper. I'm gonna do that without gloves. Yeah, I might should be easier without gloves. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you can see it, it's clear sticker. I'm gonna add it right to the board. All right, I got my thin layer down. Real thin, real thin. Now I'm gonna put my bike parts in. All right, so I have a hole in my handle and now I need to cut the center of the sticker out. Yes, yeah, so, all right, so I've got my sticker on. Looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but it looks pretty good. All right, so I'm going to use some of this mixed clear resin. And I don't think I need a ton. And I'm going to add some of this pigment to it. Let's see how that does. Ooh. It got dark real quick. Mm -hmm. But we know it doesn't go on that dark. So what do you think? I think I should just try it. Yeah, I say go for it. Mmm. That looks ugly. <laughs> oh. Hey, you want to pour some clear on it? My vision is not where I thought it would be. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll let it dry and see how it goes. Okay, so we've each got our resin coats on. Garrett has filled his tray. Looks good. Looks good. Mine, however, doesn't look that great. The sticker idea was good, although it doesn't like rounding the edges, so maybe I should have kept it just on the surface. And I thought I would use a pink tint in my resin and it was going to look pretty, but it's not looking that great. This kind of looks messy right now. <laughs> yeah, so I think we're just going to have to see how this dries a little. So we'll come back in two hours and take the tape off. At that point, the resin is set, but not fully set or hardened, and we should be able to get that off and have a nice clean edge and then let it harden completely. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. While we're waiting, I was gonna pour this resin. Two hours later. Tomorrow. All right, we're back. Let it sit overnight. Mine turned out a great. I love it. I can't wait to find a place for it. 
How'd yours turn out, babe? <laughs> so, mine didn't turn out so great. So, the concept is there, but I, I'll show you a little closer. I used a print and cut sticker, but the clear sticker paper, and all, and it just wasn't pliable enough to wrap around the corners, so now I'm thinking I probably should have used water slide paper. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I hate to waste the board. I actually like the <laughs> cutting board. Yeah, we'll sand it down and start again. Yeah, maybe we just see what we can do to get some of this off and start over. Or it might be in our next video. <laughs> I'll try again later. So, what are our lessons learned? Don't use the sticker paper and try and cover it with resin unless it's completely flat surface. The part that's flat worked perfectly. Yours? Mine? Well, the Mod Podge worked great for sealing the corners and the edges so that it would contain the resin. And it also did a great job of protecting the paper so that it didn't mess with the paper. The paper still looks great, still looks like a newspaper. So, no, I'm completely happy with mine. <laughs> I am completely disappointed with mine. <laughs> the canvas we did, I just had that leftover resin. I poured it on a canvas. That came out great. It looks great. We'll find something to do with this. Yeah, I think I could put an, a vinyl sticker on there and it'll look really cool. I thought for sure it would bleed through, but it didn't. You didn't put any paint primer or anything nope. to seal it? Nothing. We just He just poured the resin right on there. I unwrapped it and dumped the leftover resin on it. Came and, out great. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. So we'll do something neat with that. We'll, we'll make that my project for this week. <laughs> yeah. Put something cool You can right? claim that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good job, babe. I'm going to find a place for my project. Mine can just stay here. <laughs>